Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today is just going to be a really quick video. Um, I am out of salad mix. Yes, I know. It's just a travesty. Um, I always try to make sure it's here and I thought I had some, but it was kind of like going out and it just, ugh, I don't want to have it today. So I just tossed it yesterday. There wasn't that much left, but still not enough to make me have a salad. So usually I try to have something simple for lunch because, you know, I only have so many breaks and so on and so forth. And of course, this is a good time that more gadgets come in handy because I don't like to sit here and cook. I mean, that's where I like my Instant Pots and, you know, my Speedy and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'll be making some of the, um, what I make is my own homemade Alfredo. I don't add chicken to it because I'm not the meat eater that my husband likes. Um, so this way I get the vegetarian style and that makes me happy. That's what I have to eat. So he doesn't like Alfredo. Can you imagine that? Who doesn't like Alfredo? <laughs> so I'll bring it down here. And um, there's my Ninja Speedy, my trusty Ninja Speedy out here. And I have almost two cups of hot water, that boiling hot water from my um, sink. And then I have a little bit of the Alfredo sauce left over from the last time I had this. Have you guys ever bought those little spatulas from the dollar store? Gosh, I love those things. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pour out what Alfredo sauce is left. You know what I should have done was took some of that hot water and just shook that, and that would have been so much easier. Do that next time. Don't, don't do what I'm doing. Anyways, let me get the rest of this out here. And I'm kind of making this a little bit different than normal because usually I would make this on the stove. However, the first time I did make this, I made it kind of like, let me get my hands here. I made it wrong. And that's before I had made too many things with the Speedy. I'm going to go ahead and bring you up here so you can actually physically see in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some spices in there too, by the way. Sometimes I'm not the most with it person. But before I start stirring that, Throw a little bit of garlic because who doesn't like garlic in their Alfredo pasta? A little bit of pepper. A little bit of salt. I like these containers, but sometimes these lids just don't like to stay on. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Now, obviously, that's not a lot of Alfredo for... Um, We'll make that nice, my little frother. I love this frother. <laughs> See how much of a good, easy, fast thing that does. So now that's all mixed, all the spices are in there. I'm going to go ahead and just toss in what spaghetti I have left in this container so I can get that washed out for another batch to go in there. Just kind of like spread that out a little bit. Now I'm going to be going ahead and using, um, it depends on, you know, if you have fresh stuff, obviously, and it depends on what you like. But I really do like mushrooms in mine. And each person, you know, has their thing of, ugh, I try not to do that. Um, people have what they like in there. And so that's a little bit of freeze-dried mushrooms. And this is some freeze-dried diced tomatoes. Let's see if I can't not dump that in there too. And I give that another little stir here. Get that kind of like all in there. And the first time I made this, as I was saying, the first time I made it, I had put this on for 20 minutes, not realizing you know, of how this whole speedy thing works. I still don't really understand how this, the steam happens and so on, but I really like this speedy a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in some broccoli. And that's about almost half the bag. And kind of like, that's a big piece that, why would they put such a big piece like that in a bag? Whatever. I'll break that up when this gets done. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here, and it is plugged in, 
and I have this on the wrapper cooker it's done and I'm gonna go ahead and do the steam bake and I do it at the 325 but I'm gonna only do this at the 10 minutes you know what I'm gonna do eight minutes because the pasta is not gonna take that long because it is angel hair pasta What's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and hit this. I'm pretty sure on the bake feature, the steam does still come out. But I'll bring you back here in a few as I finish um, my day work here and uh, show you what this is looking like when this gets all done. And then I can take my uh, lunch break and have some lunch. So I'll be back. Well, friends, the answer is yes, it does come out. However, I did come out here just a smidge ago. And I have got one heck of a mess on this lid. I'm not for sure if you can physically see in here. But I did break up that piece of broccoli. And that was about the right amount of water. I was thinking that was going to be too much water, but I don't think it's going to be. So let me get this all out of here. It's probably way too much for lunch, but I didn't want to just not have those few pieces of spaghetti just hanging out in that container left, so... Actually, I think I could have went with just a little bit more water because, of course, you, the freeze-dried food, you know, soak, soaks up some water, too. I'll let this cool down, and I've really got a big mess to clean up in there. But, so there's my lunch today. Um, you know, like I said, it's fast. It's super simple. You know what I should have probably put in there? I should have probably put in some of my shredded carrots. I'll do that next time. But anyways, um, I did drop that down to only the one minute. Let me show you here over here on me. On me. I did drop that down to the one minute because when I came out here, the time had not changed and it was just steaming and stuff. Um, the eight minutes would have overcooked this and it would have really did a bad job like it did the very first time I made this. Because I had it go for the 20 minutes, which was way too long. So I will know in the future that the one minute will actually cook this up. So that's what I'll do in the future. I'll use the hot water. And then um, if I do it this way, like I said, usually I make it on the stove. But I was trying to be hands off while I was trying to get stuff done. So this works out really well. And like you said, like I said, you know, it's it looks like a pretty yummy lunch. And um, I should probably be happy with it. So my question is, do you guys ever have, did, have you, any of you guys bought the Speedy yet? And if you have, because I'm a part of a lot of the speedy groups that's on Facebook, and some say, oh my gosh, I burn everything, blah, blah, you know. But I don't think people realize that if you put the food in there prior to, like I do, maybe you're not supposed to. I never pay attention. I never read stuff. But when you put the food in there beforehand, it's actually starting to cook. So when you do put in things like for the 20 minutes per se, okay, then what happens is it's 20 minutes of cook time plus what, what cook time is doing while the steam is going on and whatever how, however this gets a steam when it doesn't have water in here so you gotta adjust your time and like i said i have learned from my other air fryer there that if i cook at a lower temperature and a little bit longer then my stuff doesn't get all dried out and nasty. It still can get, you know, because this has got the crispy set setting and so does this. That I just sit there and try to make sure that I cook it a little bit longer to make sure, like, if the meat is being done, the meat's not drying out. Because there is nothing worse than bite into a piece of meat and it's just like a piece of shoe leather. So I don't like to do that. So lower temps, longer time. Um, even if you do it way lower temps and even a longer time. I think it just I think it just tastes better. So do you use like your air fryers there or you know like the air fryer oven like the June? Or do you actually have a speedy? And if you do have a speedy, have you made very many successful things? Now, like I said, the only few things um we haven't done very well is the very first time I made this because I didn't realize the whole 20 minute thing that was on my fault. It's not the speedy's fault. And then um, the one time we made the hamburgers, we put the french fries at the bottom and the hamburgers on the top and the grease came down onto the, onto the french fries. It wasn't bad. It's just not something that I would, um, I like it better with the french fries on the top and the burgers on the bottom and it works out just fine that way for us. So um, 
what things that you have cooked in your air fryers that you have liked that I would like to maybe see if I would like to um, cook. So give me a comment below. Please like, share, subscribe. You know, send this over to your friends if it's something that you think could help them. And thank you very, very much for stopping by and having my lunch with me. You have a blessed day.